All right, so I don't think I grabbed the camera in time. Darn it, and I'm upset too. But GPS for whatever reason, and I'm okay with it now. It directed me downtown Gettysburg. This place is awesome. Me being a daggum history buff like I am, man, this place is, it's like you step back in time. Everybody, how y'all are today? Boy, look at that view, man. That that view is something else. Lovely. Well, as you can tell, I'm in the mountains again. I'm in a different set of mountains this time, though. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna try to record at least till the battery goes dead. Uh, it's got like 37 percent, so it's not gonna last long. Yeah, we are going through the mountains in Virginia. We are headed to uh, Gettysburg, Pennsylvania with a load of glass. Come to this uh, drop one time before when I was with my trainer. Now, I'm taking it solo. Kind of excited though to get a run up north. It's been a little while. As I said, if you've been watching some of my videos prior to this one, They've been running me between Georgia and the Carolinas mostly. I mean, they had a few runs to Alabama, a few runs to Florida. Obviously, North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia. Went to Tennessee a couple of times, but for the most part, they've been running me Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina, just back and forth, back and forth. So yeah, kind of excited to uh, get something different. Get up north a little bit. Just chugging along, chugging along. Oh boy, this is fixing to be a cluster. Come on, I don't want to let off. <laughs> I'm gonna have to. Oh man. Let's see. Craig looks like he's passing hill in here, so let me get behind him. I sure didn't want to let off. I had decent little momentum going. I don't want to use those no more. It's not raining. What am I doing? Yeah, it really sucks. I mean, it's hard enough to get going as it is. And then when you are going pretty decent, you got two trucks side by side. And you got, you're faster than both of them. You got to let off. Which isn't their fault. I mean, I know they're doing all they can do. Believe me, if those guys could get out of the way, they would. Man, that's just a beautiful view, isn't it? Love the mountains. Really love the mountains. I was going to get over, but catching up the crate here a little bit, so I'll stay where I'm at. Not holding nobody up. We're doing good. Camera just came on. It was blinking. Don't know. Don't know what that was for. Damn sure it wasn't speed. Didn't cross any lines. May have been because I got a little close to him earlier, but hell, I was still, what, 1.8 seconds off? Doing 40, 42 mile an hour. <laughs> yeah, I figured I'd grab the camera and get a little footage going up these mountains. These are. It's a little nicer than the ones we went through the other day. Bobtail, watch your speed. Bobtail, watch your speed, sir. Wonder what bobtail that we're talking about. Hmm, I don't see a bobtail. Oh man, this is a cluster. Nobody speed on this side. <laughs> <laughs> you ever know what in the world he was even 
saying? He sounded drunk. <laughs> I couldn't make that out at all. But yeah, what I was uh, about to say is the old bobtail had to be on the other side that I was telling her to watch her speed. Damn sure can't speed on this side. That's all. <laughs> Look at this guy coming up hot. Dude in the mirror there. <laughs> oh, fun, fun, fun. I think this is the worst part about driving. It's just when you, I mean, the mountain part is nice. I don't mind going through the mountains. It's just this part. This part sucks when you're having to climb, and especially when you're loaded. I'm not real heavy, though. I think my payload was uh, 36. It wasn't that much. Uh, 32. 32 eight. So I'm not real heavy. Could be worse. It could be, look at this dick on it. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say that. Look at this bleep just tailgating that other truck. I mean, come on, dude. You obviously don't have a family. He can't. Or he probably does. He's just hypocritical. Can you imagine that guy if he's seen a truck on his family's bumper like that? I mean, I understand it's another trucker that he's on, not a family, but still. You don't need to tailgate folks like that, man. Especially in a big truck. He's still on him. Dude finally got over out of his way. That just makes me mad as hell. You see some of these truck drivers and they are all up somebody's ass. Man, how'd you like it if that was your family in that car? I passed by, a matter of fact, there was a uh, minivan carrying a whole family. Husband, wife, it was like three kids. Uh, truck just dead on their ass, man. Back off, you killed them, folks. Always got to go, 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 go. That's trucker's mentality. Always in a hurry, always in a hurry, always in a hurry. All right, sure. Get in a hurry sometimes, but you're not always in a damn hurry, man. Just slow down and wait a minute. Take a breath. Shit will change, and then you can ride on. That stuff just just gets me. You know, I'm a family man, so I think about, you know, what if that was my family? It's ridiculous. Back off. Many of you guys out here, when you're in your truck and you're driving, don't tailgate. If you do, back off. Thank you, your family. Just, just imagine... Imagine if that was me in your truck and your family in that car you're tailgating. How pissed would you be at me? You'd be pretty damn mad. I understand some of these cars get in the way, they slow down, they go way, way, way slower than the speed limit. They hold you up, I get that. Still don't mean you got to get five foot off their back bumper and ride their ass. If you know, anything could happen, then you kill the hell out of all of them. <clears throat> yeah, it was looking real nice. The weather, it was, uh, which is still some blue skies over there. Some blue skies around. I'm starting to get some clouds, a little bit of drizzle on the windshield. It just recently started. It's been being real nice and blue skies and sunny. I mean, <laughs> it still is. You get what I'm saying. It's still sunny and blue skies there. But what I mean is those clouds. The obvious rain clouds wasn't here. That's what I'm trying to say. It, w it was beautiful weather. Now it's me. <laughs> Alright, well I'm gonna pay attention getting on across this mountain here. I'm planning on stopping. I got uh, a little over two hours left. Got 145 miles to go. Hopefully track trap or trap that but spit it out. Hopefully traffic will cooperate and I can get to where I want to go. Uh, I'm trying to get to uh, Petro Station. Uh, I want to. I, I think I spoke about it in my last video, talking about when I come to uh, Pennsylvania. But it's really, really, really big. They got like four or five little places to eat in there. They was building a new restaurant inside, which was the Skillet Iron something, uh, Skillet something. I can't remember what it was. Anyways, uh, hopefully it's done. I uh, wanna wanna go in and try it out. But they got you know four or five other places in there, like fast food places. They had uh, a couple of little stores in there. They had a hotel upstairs that you could stay in, a movie theater, a barber. Had uh, 
I can't remember. Oh, oh, steak and lube. Or no, steak and lube. It was the Quaker steak. Yeah, Quaker steak and steak and lube. That was it. Uh, place that me and my trainer went to and ate. It was next door. It's pretty good. Had yeah, some good food. But yeah, that's where I'm hoping to get to. I got three hours left on my clock here. Two hours, 17 minutes to my destination. That's if traffic cooperates. So hoping that they'll cooperate with me so I can get there and looking forward to trying that new restaurant but yeah I'll get y'all guys back uh, if not when I get there uh, maybe you know well, well not maybe if I don't get you back when I get to the truck stop I'll definitely get back with y'all tomorrow when I'm headed to my drop stay tuned all right I am back everybody go ahead and hate me now hate me hate me hate me I'm sorry so I'm already in Pennsylvania at the drops, already made the drop. Uh, dropped my trailer, backed up to a new trailer. Like I said, hate me now. I'm sorry, I do apologize. <laughs> um, so my excuse is, yes, I'm gonna say an excuse. It's really not an excuse, but you know. Anyways, when I got to the stop yesterday evening after my run, I'm not gonna lie, I was tired. I went and got me something to eat. The uh, Iron Skillet restaurant wasn't done being built yet, so it wasn't open. So I went back to the Quaker Steak and Lube, which is pretty good. But I had me a nice dinner there. Um, got full, took a shower, come back to the truck, and I mean, I was out. I was out pretty quick, so I didn't really mess with the camera then. And then when I got up this morning, I was just ready to go and i had planned to uh once it got daylight to pick up the camera and start filming but halfway through uh well halfway into before it becomes daylight i got to thinking i was like crap i didn't change the battery in the camera because you know the battery almost died yesterday when i was uh <laughs> last filming but um anyways uh I didn't get a chance to put the or I won't say I didn't get a chance I just didn't put the battery in it so um, yeah uh, it really wouldn't have been too much good footage anyway because when I was coming in the Sun was mostly directly in front of my face when it was coming up so it was blinding to me I had to put my shades on so I know it would have probably been horrible footage for the camera. I mean, who knows? Maybe not. Maybe it would have turned out to be some good footage. But anyways, I feel like that it wouldn't have been that good anyway. So, yeah. I'm sorry. But the good news is, going back, I get to get you a little bit of footage. I don't know how much footage because I didn't pay attention to how much footage I've recorded already. And per request or well not really request but per uh my question and uh right the comments uh most of you don't like the videos too long and you know i can respect that so i'm definitely going to try to keep them around the 30 minute mark you know it's kind of hard to do though when you especially when you got a back involved um, especially you know your boy still being a rookie when I blow it up every now and then like I did the other day I, I, well, there was three backs that I, I blew up I had to pull up on it again but uh, yeah I mean that, that's trucking though you don't get all of them in the first try but yeah, anyways uh, backing up it kind of takes a little longer I think I'm gonna cut out the uh, footage of me coupling and uncoupling the trailer I feel like y'all have seen that enough. Um, that's the same, that never changes. Although the back, you know, they're a little different depending on where you go. So I think that'll help cut down on time too. But yeah, we are on the way to Elkton, Virginia to the cores there to pick up a load and it's going to Charlotte, but I'm dropping it in the Eden yard. Um, I asked for a load out of there maybe not the eating yard but at least from somewhere right there local home tomorrow i hope that they're able to work that out for me i hadn't got an answer yet but i'm pretty sure that they'll uh work on something and get me hooked up 
the end it's of uh at this back. point now it's well here my watch will work it's 8 41 a.m uh it's thursday morning so my day by the time i get to, to coors and hooked up and get that load to eaton my day will be over uh, so i'll need a load out of eaton going home hopefully you know that's what i would like but I hope that I, I can get there. I got seven hours and 23 minutes left on my 11 hour clock, but I still have, I think it was nine hours, nine hours of some change on my uh, 14 hour clock. So I'm gonna get up here, you know, pause my clock. I, I should have plenty of time to be able to get to eating before my clock runs out. That's crossing my fingers, of course, if you don't run into any traffic. <laughs> he said, don't run into any traffic. You're yeah, right. But yeah, if you don't run into any traffic or uh, you know anything happens we should be able to make it but hey I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and just stop the clip here um, I'm wasting valuable footage time footage minutes to get y'all some uh, hopefully some good scenery going back so I'm gonna clip it here and I'll get back to y'all when we get into some of the areas with a little more uh, scenery in it stay tuned all right so I don't think I grabbed the camera in time darn it and I'm upset too but GPS for whatever reason and I'm okay with it now. It directed me downtown Gettysburg This place is awesome Me being a daggum history buff like I am Man this place is It's like you step back in time. I went past the uh, battlefield back there. I mean, I've only seen that on TV. It was a uh, yeah, I was kind of fangirling for a minute over a battlefield, sure was. Thought that was pretty awesome. Cannons everywhere, monuments, and uh, the rock walls laid out. Pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. That was neat. Um, yeah, this place, man, see like that, the church is cool. I like that. See, I like stuff like that. Some of you are probably looking at it and be like, oh, it's just a church. You probably see stuff like that every day. Well, I don't, <laughs> I try to. I see stuff like that a good bit, but it's not every day. I'm just in awe when I see old stuff. I think this is awesome. Um, At the roundabout, come to, take uh, the third exit to Chambersburg Street. Um, I'm not going to be able to squeeze by you, truck, and I need to go straight. Oh, man. Yep, maybe I can. But, uh, yeah, I come, like I said, I come to Gettysburg before with my trainer one time, but we didn't go through downtown Gettysburg. And like I said, I don't know why GPS brought me this way this time. Yeah, I'm sorry, cars. I had to maneuver around this car back here. I know I'm poking out. I apologize. They're probably, dang it, big truck. What are you doing in this town? You're supposed to be on the highway. I'm trying to get there, okay? I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah, but anyways, uh, GPS routed me this way for whatever reason. Uh, it took me off of York and brought me around and then actually pulled me back out, put me back on to York. Um, I have noticed it's aggravating, but I kind of like this GPS for that. It'll unknowingly, like when you route somewhere, if there's like an accident or anything, because I have uh, Drive, Garmin Drive on my phone, so I have it hooked through the uh, GPS there so any live traffic update or weather severe weather anything like that it um okay I hate these things as soon as I go somebody's gonna go straight I know it <laughs> um but anyways yeah it's got yeah I thought that was real people I mean it's real people around a monument but that was pretty cool um damn I'm getting all sidetracked I'm sorry if I'm just rambling on <laughs> but I'm just Man, this place is awesome. I like it. Oh, I'm not gonna hit you, not gonna hit you. They just need a little room. Um, but yeah, the GPS, it'll, uh, if there's an accident, say, like, uh, for instance, if you're driving, like, now that it's already uh, got my route up, if I'm going and an accident happens after the route has been put up, then it'll tell me, hey, you know, there's a delay in so many miles. Uh, it'll try to detour me that thing right there is cool I need one of them right around Gettysburg but yeah it'll either uh, 
reroute me or it'll ask me if I want to be if I want to reroute and tell you how much time the reroute will save you um, if you want to take the detour or whatever but when you hit the route if there's an accident or road closure or anything like that along the path that it was going to route you on then it will just take you around it you'll never even know that there was an accident there or road closure or whatever so I'm taking it that's what GPS did the reason it took me around and then back out onto York um, so you didn't leave me very much room at all to go to the right here but thank you thank you thank you thank you appreciate you that there buddy oh we got the green arrow Man, it's really awesome to go into these little small towns like this and just sightsee, but driving a big truck through it can be challenging. <laughs> Definitely don't want to hit nobody. But yeah, it looks like we're getting out of uh, Gettysburg now, but I just thought that was pretty doggone cool. I uh, I was in so much awe when I was coming into it, looking and seeing everything, seeing the battlefield. I didn't think till you know, until I did pick the camera up to pick the camera up. I was, like oh crap camera stupid <laughs> this is the reason you film to catch stuff like this well one of the reasons yeah man i would definitely love to come here and i don't know i'd take a vacation here i really would i'd take a whole week just to stay here and go all over the town and just see what there is to see you know like stuff like that right there i know that's probably just normal and probably nothing special oh wait it said something ridge museum but just the look of the buildings you know the architect of the buildings it's like an old little house there that's pretty cool stuff like that man that's neat see i love stuff like that whatever that thing is little fences and stuff Oh, I bet you that's another battlefield, probably. There's all kind of monuments out there. Man, that's pretty cool. I'm trying to keep the camera focused over there so y'all can see, but I'm also trying to watch this red light. I don't want to run the red light. Man, this is awesome. I love stuff like this. I really do. Man, this is the highlight of my whole trip. I'm not even going to lie. I wish I could pull over. I would pull over. I mean, I, I probably could right there. I mean, it's big enough for a truck. It does say no parking at any time, but I really wouldn't be parking. I mean, define parking, right? Parking to me is uh, you leave your vehicle for, you know, some period of time. What that period of time may be, I don't know. Let's have a vote. What do you think the period of time is, is considered parking? So if I dipped off the side of the road, got out of the truck long enough to take I don't know two three pictures and got back in the truck would that still be considered parking to some I know it probably would but to me I just don't see that as parking when I see a sign that says no parking I think that that's for people if you intend to park there for you know I don't know 20 minutes or more I mean even 20 minutes is I think that's okay but I don't know 20 30 minutes definitely 30 minutes if you're going to be parked there for you know more than 30 minutes i think that's what those who those signs pertain to maybe i'm wrong i mean i understand parking is parking but i just don't see it that way if you're going to pull over and just take a couple pictures get back in and go obviously people do it they you know you can see where people pull it over and also they're probably just trying to get people to stop doing that because it is destroying you know a historical site it is the roadway but you know back then when all you know what when all that historical stuff happened there was no road through here so it's all the historical ground so maybe maybe that's why they did have a place over to the left that uh you could pull into i mean i couldn't pull in it not with this thing so maybe that's why those are there to actually keep people from pulling off on the grass i can understand that i'm pretty sure that this video is going to be over the 25 to 30 minutes that you have requested and to those of you that did request that time frame i really do apologize 
and I promise I'm working on that. But this video here, man, there was so much cool stuff back there. I just had to uh, had to grab the camera and uh, film that for sure. So if this one's over, you know, over the time limit, then I do apologize. Just let me have this one. I apologize. Just uh, bear with me. Let me have this one. <laughs> But yeah, it looks like we're getting out of all the cool stuff now, so I will clip it here just to save time. But uh, something else cool pops up, I will be grabbing the camera. Stay tuned, everybody. Alright, so nothing interesting happened between now and then. So, yep, skipped ahead. We're in Elkton, Virginia now. Um, just a couple of minutes, two minutes away from our uh, pickup here at the Coors. Nice little mountain backdrop there. There was a lot of nice scenery. I really like the scenery out this way with the, uh, you know, it's got a lot of, depending on where you're at, it's got like a lot of plains and rolling hills and stuff. Kind of like, uh, you know, kind of like that there. You just see fields and stuff for miles and mountains in the background and stuff. I like that. I mean, this here it really as much like I'm talking about coming down the interstate. You know, you go over a big hill and you're just looking down and you just see for miles and miles and miles fields and stuff like that, and mountains in the background. And it's just pretty cool. Really nice scenery. Turn left at the stop sign bunch of farmland and stuff big uh, big barns huge farmhouses with the silos and stuff pretty neat so we're gonna be taking a left after we cross the it should be some railroad tracks right yeah there, there's the railroad crossing sign hmm there's only 40 feet between tracks and road <laughs> Okay, I was about to say, I hope I can see. Because <laughs> we're going to have to go from back here. Oh man, that little building thing is in the way. Don't want to get up here too far where I'm a hazard, but probably could have went. Probably should have went. I was too busy seeing how far up I was instead of watching the car. Should be able to make this. That truck's far enough away. Oh my god! Didn't expect that bump. Jeez. Really wasn't expecting that bump, but there it is. Uh, destination is right up here on the right. Uh, like I said, I've been here before. We actually stopped through here the last time when I came to Pennsylvania with my trainer. We uh, stopped by here on the way back through and picked up. So I've been to this place one time before. So I turn in to the right, then I'm going to turn to the left right there through like some wrought iron gates. And the guard shack will be right there. Um, best I remember, we pulled through and we kind of passed the guard shack and park and then walk back to it. Um, have to see if it's still that way. Let's see, both lanes are turn lanes. I'm gonna get over here in this lane. Simply because it's wider, it gives me a little more room. It's kind of a tight little turn to get in there. Uh, actually, there's nobody behind me. I could just cut and go in this line, but you know. What kind of turn? Let's turn left. Do not exit truck to check in until you have reached stop sign. Yep. Oh, shut up. Yep, that's what I remember. Stop signs up there where those trucks are. Seems like I always remember, hey, there's another Millie's truck. Go oh, Millie's. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, though. It seemed like I remembered um, coming in here. 
and passing the guard shack and then coming up here stopping and then coming back. All right, well, I'm gonna jump out and slide my tandems. Well, no, I'm not gonna slide my tandems here. I'm gonna go ahead and hit off duty. And once I get checked in and get to the information of where we're going, I'll get back with y'all. All right, we have checked in. My camera's probably fixing to die. Uh, it was pretty hectic up there. Uh, it wasn't hardly anybody in line there's just a couple when i come in but right behind me they all piled in it was a ton of them come in but it got pretty hectic so once i got my orders of where to drop at i grabbed my stuff and took off didn't have time to change the battery this is 17 percent i'm almost positive it's going to go off before i get to where i'm going but if it does i'll pop another battery in when i get up here and then at least show y'all the back end so I'm going up here to the green lot. He said it is the first lot on the right. You gotta obviously go here and turn left. All the lots, they got a red lot, a green lot, I think a blue lot, some other lot. I think there's four different lots down here. I wanna say I dropped in, yeah, I don't even know. All I know is when I come here the last time, um, I dropped in the second lot to the left. I want to say that it was the red lot, but don't quote me on that. I see a red sign, so it probably was. I see my green sign on the right. Well, there's a green sign past the red sign down there too. Oh, you know what? That looks like it's, it's past the red sign, but it looks like it's on the right too, so. Maybe that whole right side over there is green. I don't know. Hey, you know what? Now I remember, I think it, chat. I think it is because I remember this whole left side right here is red because when I was here with my trainer, I, re <laughs> I remember going down, I passed this first entrance right here and he was like where are you going you gotta go right there and i said no i'm going up here to the red lot and he said oh okay oh no that wouldn't it right. oh yeah yeah yeah. there's two driveways here he was asking me where i went so this is my green lot or maybe maybe not i don't i don't know there's a blue lot down oh so that was a blue sign that looked green down there well, the battery lasted so maybe i do got enough time to show you all this back i can't remember what the deal was with pulling in there though i thought that uh it was like a good spot here i thought that uh i don't know i thought that i was i was turning in the correct place but he wouldn't he didn't notice that it was the correct driveway and he was like no this one but that's not the case. I don't know why I remember that like that. Though. That's weird. I, I remember something about it. He said, oh, where are you going? Right here. Oh, no. You know what? It was this lot because this driveway came before the red lot driveway. So I was passing the green lot. And he was like, well, where are you going? I'm like, what do you mean? I'm going to drop the trailer. He said, no, you passed it. I said, no, I didn't. What do you mean? He said, yeah, you did the green lot. I think that that's what it was now that I remember because he said that they usually always had them dropping in the green lot. That's just what he remembered. He's always dropped in the green. So I think he was just anticipating that they told me to drop in the green too. Because I mean, when I went to, in, uh, to check in, he didn't go in there with me. So he, he didn't know. He didn't look at the paperwork. That's what it was. Because <laughs> I remember passing the drive. He said, where are you going? I said, to drop the trailer. He said, no, you're not. You passed it. <laughs> I said, no, they said red line. He said, oh, <laughs> I knew it was something like that. I couldn't really remember what. Man, that was an easy back. That was real easy. I don't know, I feel like I cheated y'all there. I could have I could have found a tighter hole, at least gave y'all something interesting, but now nah, we're, we're in here now, but. Um, yeah, I'm gonna close this video now. Um, I'm sure that's been long enough. Hopefully I can get this in here before the battery dies. 
but I'm gonna drop this trailer. I'm gonna go get my loaded trailer, run across the scales and check out, and I'll be headed to Eden. So uh, yeah, as always, man, appreciate y'all guys watching. I'll uh, catch y'all on the next one. Peace.